Hi guys, we're joined by a very special guest today. TV actress Crystal D'Souza is in Qatar. Crystal, welcome to Qatar. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here for the second time. Second time. Uh, when were you here last? April. April. So that's a, that's a quick turnaround to come back yeah, here. Yeah, because I loved it so much. What brings you back now? Okay, let me go back to April. When I came here, I went back home and I told everyone that I love that this place is amazing and the food is amazing and the people are amazing. <laughs> and then they're like, don't tell us, take us. Take us. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, I won an award and uh, I asked my mom what do you want she's like i want a holiday i was like let's go to qatar because it's beautiful uh, that's why i'm back here with the family with a few friends as well i got my girlfriends along so when the parents go to sleep the girlfriends can have fun <laughs> okay that being said what have you done since you've been in qatar where have you been what are your favorite places to visit uh so uh, i've been to a lot of malls uh, i went to mall of qatar i went to uh, dfc i uh, went to this uh, summer entertainment festival ah uh, yeah so uh, I, I'm not a kid, but I, I'm a kid at heart. <laughs> so I enjoyed, I'm petrified of, you know, these heights and slides and rides, but I did everything. Uh, I also went to Masharif Museum and got to know a lot about the culture here. I did Q&L yesterday, that is uh, Qatar National Library. There were a lot of film section with books and cinematography. So picked out a few from there. And uh, Al -ham -hams Hamas? Al Hamza Mall. Al Hazam Mall, sorry. Al Hazam Mall. <laughs> uh, I thought that was uh, uh, luxury to a next level, you know. Uh, it was huge, beautiful, and felt beautiful, larger than life. So I think you know everything in Qatar is larger than life. They don't, they don't do anything mediocre. Um, have you discovered any hidden gems like restaurants or foods yes. that you might not have been aware of? Souk Waqif. Souk Waqif. I, I love Souk Waqif. I think, you know, uh, leave all the luxuries aside. That place is authentic, it's cultural, it has so much tradition. I went to a local restaurant there and uh, just had a lot of uh, Um Ali. <laughs> Who doesn't love good Um Ali? Um Ali and um, uh, Fatur. And a lot, I'm learning these names, so forgive me, guys. <laughs> now, some of these things we've actually seen on your social media. Oh, you have. You've got a very strong social media <laughs> game. What advice can you give to social media wannabes that want to find out how to do good posts? Because yours are pretty good. You know, I, I honestly feel that people think too much into it. I think, you know, when you put it from your heart, people see it. So it has to be as raw, as real, because they see that you're not trying too hard. They yeah. see that you're not... Um, Pretending to be something else, so people are gonna love you for who you are, and if they don't, they're bad. So you you no stranger to being recognised. Have you been noticed on the streets? Have fans come up to you and said hello? Even when I go out to a mall or something like that, people recognise. They want pictures, and uh, I honestly feel that's appreciation for my work. So I'm more than happy to. I don't get disturbed at all. I feel like yay in another part of the world, people still know me. <laughs> And tell me, when do you intend on coming back now? Um, so I was here a few months ago. I'm here again. And inshallah, I'm planning to come back uh, around uh, December. Nice. <laughs> Best time to come to Qatar. Winter. Yeah, Winter. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you very much for Thank joining you. us. Enjoy the rest of your trip. And we hope your family have a good time as well. Yes, they are. Thank you. They are having a fabulous time. I am Qatar. We are Qatar.